Donald Trump's position, his opposition to the clean power plan. OK, so Bernie Sanders is up in arms about that today. So is the Democratic Party saying, how could you how could you possibly be against the clean power plan? Because just like how could you be against choice? How could you be against someone being pro choice? They give they, they give these plans or these bills, or in this case, a series of regulations, these nice or sometimes benign sounding names. So, well, how could you possibly be against that? I actually will take it one step further than most Republicans and off. I think they should offer no apologies, completely on board with decimating the clean power plan. But how could you? Well, I'll explain it. But first, let's listen to Bernie Sanders say, but how could you? President Trump's anti-environmental executive orders are a disaster. They are a threat to the future of this country and to the future of the world. Ooh, someone didn't equalize their music there. <laughs> so Today's bad. energy independence action calls for an immediate reevaluation of the so-called clean power plan. It is beyond belief that we have the leader of the most powerful country on earth not believing in science. Oh, thanks. We'll check that later, Mr. Science. Appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, we'll be checking all of these numbers, so keep these in mind here. Here we go, dramatic music. Sounds like Terminator. 1,700 heart attacks per year would have been avoided. Oh, yeah. where'd you get those numbers? 90,000 asthma attacks. That She's sounds cute. good. And 3,600 premature deaths. Getting a little more general. Uh, and then their final argument is, despite what the president says, uh, destroying the clean power plan would not bring back jobs. Okay, so let's unpack this a little bit. Uh, right off the bat... Wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> simple, simple answer. 83,000 jobs in the coal sector were lost under Barack Obama's tenure. Now, listen, obviously uh, destroying CPP won't bring back all of those jobs. Some of those are permanent, but it certainly would bring back some of those jobs. It would give those jobs a fighting chance. So that when you just say generally, ah, we're going to save 49 million premature deaths and uh, we're going to say, no, you, you need to give us specifics. Uh, so let's get let's unpack some of these numbers. Um, one 2015 regulation alone of the clean power plan, the mercury, air and toxic standards rule. Let's bring this up. Has cost twenty five point six billion dollars per year. Now, the estimated cost was nine point six billion. Uh, <laughs> so little, some little would off. say little 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 Yes, yes. Well, and this is important because we'll get to a, a, a few more get, numbers. I never get the decimal right. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget to round the one! Yeah. We're going off of their projections. So we're going off of their best case scenario. If you go back to Barack Obama uh, and his projections with whether it was a stimulus bill, it doesn't matter what it was. If you go back to those predictions, you will see that it usually ended up being two to three times the cost uh, yeah. over the course of 10 years. Cumulatively, <laughs> it could be much more than that. The clean power plan has cost a total of 125,000 jobs. Jeez. Okay, And it's only really offered uh, half of the benefits and the savings that they claim to offer. That's kind of a tricky math because they can only claim savings once you remove from the equation fracking and energy resources that actually would create savings. So I, I don't want to get into that too much, but we know concretely 125,000 jobs are lost. Um, total increased energy costs to the U.S. consumer by the year 2030 with the Clean Power Plan will be $214 billion. Um, total cost of the overall economy by 2030 will be over $2.5 trillion. Jeez. Again, this is by their own estimate. So if you read $2.5 trillion, eh, it's probably more like 80 zillion. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. I'm, I'm rounding up. It's a good multiplier. Yes. Get, a, get a round up. <laughs> I'm rounding up. Add about six zeros. Um, so we're losing jobs. Okay. This is, so th there are concrete examples. We'll get into more. But jobs are being stripped. And... A big reason the job loss actually hasn't been worse, by the way, is, is because of fracking. We'll talk about that's actually been the biggest boom of private sector job growth under Barack Obama, despite their best efforts to completely get yeah. rid of it. Um, so wh wh what do you think happens here? We keep reducing our ability to use our own resources. OK, so take your pick. Uh, 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 the, the Dakota pipeline. Take your pick. Fracking. Take your pick. Clean coal. Whatever it is. If Democrats had, if Barack Obama had had his way, offshore drilling, if Bernie Sanders had had their way all along the trail, we would have no access to our current energy reserves. Yeah. We wouldn't have enjoyed the miracle that is fracking. Uh, that has unleashed our own resources uh, with a power that we could have never even possibly imagined. It is probably one of the greatest modern miracles that I can think of is fracking. So if they had their way all along the trail, none of these forms of energy would have been accessible to us, okay? So not only would we have killed our own jobs, not only would we have reduced uh, our ability to, to use our own resources, not only would we have increased the costs of energy for ourselves, of course, 
at this point in reality, we still are dependent on fossil fuels or gas of some sort. Yeah. So we would still, we're not set up yet for wind and solar across the entire country. Right now, in the real world, 2017, we need to get our energy from somewhere. Where do you think we're going to get it? We're going to get it from countries like Saudi Arabia who couldn't give a rat's ass about environmental Yay. standards. Oh. You think when they're pulling that oil from the earth, they have the EPA <laughs> overlooking them? No. Bernie brings up some statistics there, which are interesting. He says that the, uh, the clean power plan would reduce current power plan carbon emissions by 32%. Okay, that's his big claim there. Again, best case scenario with his estimates, they reduce it 32%. Okay, let's say we do that. That's still less than 1% of carbon emissions on planet Earth. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if you actually, again, his best case scenario, if you eliminated our emissions by 32% and nobody else in any other country who are burning literal piles of human shit would increase carbon emissions, let's assume that everyone else had a gentleman's agreement that we're all going to lower this, it would, it would keep the average temperature rise according to their metrics, it, it would keep that rise it would lower it by 0 0.02 degrees Celsius <laughs> by the year 2100. Not point 0.2, right? No, point no. Zero, zero, two. zero. <laughs> and This is best case scenario, assuming with their with, with their costs. Uh, they make some claims here, too, that I want to get into. We don't want to get <laughs> 1,700 heart attacks, 90,000 asthma attacks, 3,600 premature death, deaths would be. And by the way, this is, again, all over HuffPo and Vox. They're, they're touting this, and people are like, oh, my gosh, that's, I can't believe. Yes, good. Let's, <laughs> we're going to save lives. <laughs> I was not able to find any actual resources from this, except uh, I think they took it from the same document from the EPA that also, this reliable document, um, claims that your tummy troubles are caused by irregular weather <laughs> oh, patterns. Yeah. So again, this is the idea where they mock conservatives where you say, well, listen, when you're talking about climate change funding, almost everything can just be tossed under that umbrella. That's not true. It's science. And then literally you'll spend billions of dollars on a study that says he has diarrhea because of global warming. <laughs> that's, right. that's, that's terrorists. Like, global what? warming. Yeah. Could you, like, is that funded by big emodium? No. It's actually just funded by a bill. <laughs> Bernie Sanders voted for the bill, and now we're, well, now we're funding studies on global warming in its relation to diarrhea. Oh, this is just insane. Not good enough, America. So, <laughs> uh, finally, this is something else that I find out. She slams Donald Trump. Bernie Sanders slams Donald course, Trump course. for n being anti-science. Big words from a man whose party <laughs> platform and original home state believe in 31 genders. <laughs> <laughs> if only there were some kind of a crystal ball <laughs> if only. that we could look to, a beacon of modern clean energy, and what the results were. <laughs> Thanks to our intern Sven from Germany, who's kind of weird, but we like him, <laughs> we have that information. So Germany started a program in 2010 called, a, I don't know how to pronounce this uh, properly, Energy Vi Vendi? Energy Wend? Vend. 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 W is a V. Okay. Energy Vend in 2010. Bring up the overlay. People can read it so they know what they're talking about. Um, so this is where they, they installed a bunch of solar panels, uh, turbines. They tried to do away with nuclear energy. Germany used a lot of nuclear energy. A lot of, oh. as a matter of fact, in Europe, nuclear energy has been used much more than in the United States, and as it's well kind of not should. a big thing. Fukushima and like, got a little gun shy. <laughs> um, Ouch. So turbines Too and soon. solar panels. Here's the problem. It's not always sunny in Germany. <laughs> Nor windy. And I will, I will openly express my ignorance here. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of friends who use solar panels uh, on their houses up north, and it, they they charge up a battery, and then the battery, you know, obviously powers the generator, and so they can store solar energy. I assumed that if we were planning on uh, uh, on making the bedrock of our future energy policy, solar and wind, I assumed that we had the ability to do that on a large scale. Mm. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> No. Mm -mm. I gave them the benefit of the doubt. Like, well, I guess solar and wind. I was like, at first I thought, well, there's no way that could work. And then I saw a generator that worked in some, somebody's tiny house where he took an old he took an old shipping crate from a freighter and said, I'm going to turn this into a house with a solar panel. I thought, well, if we can do it there, we can certainly do it on a grand scale for a country. Turns out that's not true. Never mind backing up 10 years before that where you have to mine the stuff you have to yes. make it. Yeah. <laughs> That takes yes. a lot of coal energy. Yes, it takes it a lot of energy yes, yes, to does. create these solar panels. So um, there's just no way to store it. 
This is the reality. A lot of people assume that I did for a period of time. There is no way to store it. So what did, what happened in Germany? Well, you go through periods where there's not nearly enough energy, right? So everyone has to conserve it. It's kind of like California with the droughts. There's no sun. There's no wind. You're kind yeah. of screwed. And then there were periods where there would be so much sun and wind that they were wasting energy. They had a surplus. <laughs> their power grids couldn't handle it. So they would literally sell their energy in Germany at a negative price. They were paying you, please, please, charge your iPads. Put Netflix on nonstop. <laughs> put it on your TV. Just leave it. Sit down. Play next. I'm still watching Button. It's not even possible. You have to click. I'm still watching like every half hour. That has been a stick in our car in Germany for so long. And we would have gotten away with it too, Netflix. <laughs> So they had to sell energy for a negative price, <laughs> and on its worst day, it could cost up to 20 million euros a day for them to try yeah. and pay people to take their energy. So you go through droughts, and then you go through these surpluses that you can't handle. And here's the thing. All of this pressure, right, and you see the unemployment in the United States that we would have from the Clean Power Plan. You see the unemployment that occurred under Barack Obama in our current energy sectors. You see the actual employment that was created with fracking and natural yeah. gas. And despite Barack Obama's best efforts, the labor uh, participation force uh, rate would be far, far lower if it weren't almost exclusively yeah. for fracking. What did we get in Germany? Well, actually, all of this led to Germany in 2015 increasing. <laughs> carbon emissions. <laughs> Let's recap this, okay? We're going to lose hundreds of thousands of jobs, yeah. potentially millions of jobs. Uh, best projected deficits and increased spending are yeah. in the many, many trillions, again, probably the tens of trillions, <laughs> um, completely unreliable energy that cannot be harnessed in times of drought. Mm. It will increase our dependency on foreign oil and foreign forms of energy, period. And at the end of the day, if we don't hit our best possible scenario of decreasing the average temperature rise over 100 years by 0 0.02 degrees Celsius, we might actually increase carbon emissions. So, <laughs> yes, I say to you, zero apologies. I support not just Donald Trump, but anyone who wants to do away with the absolute hoax that is the clean power plan. Thank you, Germany, for screwing up so that we don't have to. If you like this video, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. It's, a, it's in a, it's a circle now. It used to be a square, which most buttons aren't squares. Unless it's on a phone. There are square buttons on phones, but most buttons are circles. You understand what I'm talking about. Or watch the recommended video, which is popping up in a box. Or subscribe at ladderwithcrider.com slash mug club. Join the mug club so you can get the daily show. And that means that you are not beholden to the YouTube censoring overlords. But let's be honest. You like being there where you are, under their thumb. Power bottom you.